Why are you up here? Nope, nope, fuck this shit. Oh shit. How did I live? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped off a balcony. Live. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was right there. <laughs> What the hell? You jumped right past me. Yeah. Uh. What the frick? Just got rid of my achievement. Hey. No. What? What? Why is he coming to me when I haven't moved? He smells you, boy. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, I really thought ow. you were gonna die. How many hearts did you live on? One and a half. Oh boy. There's gotta be something on the surface to let you know you should go down here, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's something, right? Yeah, that's something, alright. Okay, so that's how you get into the cave systems. Okay. I was gonna say, there's no way there'd be no surface. Like, uh, there's gotta be some way you get in there naturally. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna teleport. So I guess those things didn't weren't there to tell us yeah. where to go. They were just weird rocks, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna teleport back there. Hello, maybe. Oh, the lore book. The lore book. Um... Oh yeah. Hold on. E. Sorry. Never mind. What? Check out the USW Companion Series Steph Blocks YouTube channel to hear the story of Asim and Yarma and how they used this wow. fairy cave to plot a revolution and come to the rescue with the Sandstone Village. Great. I don't like how most of the lore is outside of the map yeah that's kind of lame like, yeah like i understand having to watch videos to understand the lore before that's fine it's when the books are like hey to find out the lore go to the youtube channel it's like bruh you could literally just have written this down books have like a max of like 50 pages yeah i don't know like that's just like i don't like that yeah that's something. I don't see village. it. Oh, now I see it. Oh, wow. Are you okay? Oh, wow. I'm going to this building first. This looks interesting. Yeah, I want to go there. Ooh, I like the town square. Oh, yeah, that's Fucking cool. Ow! <laughs> Dick <Take> why? <one. laughs> that is cool. Yeah, I love the green trees. All right, what's the, what's this about? They got the prayer mats. Oh my God, they're praising oh Allah. Oh my God, <laughs> they're praising Allah. There's nothing. The vibe. Yeah, it's cool. This looks Lord like where Lord. I live. I thought it said letter from JFK. It's letter from JK. Bruh. Dear Amon. I hope this message reaches you well. I sent my most trusted messenger to deliver this message and fresh shipment of supplies. I wanted to see to it personally that you have the materials necessary to rebuild after destruction at Sandstone. Yarima has assured me that you will put these materials... This is connecting. Uh, yeah. To good use. I heard you are the best stonemason on the island. If you have, if, if any further materials are required, please provide a seam... With the list, as you know, he is frequent and beloved visitor of ours. Warmest regards, the Jungle King. Intriguing. Indeed. Especially since we didn't see the Jungle King, we only saw the Jungle Queen. Yeah. Is the king dead? That or we just, you know, missed his. That's also possible, presence. yeah. Aha! Found another lore book. Huh. Strange sounds. Past week I've been hearing wailing sounds coming from the well. Everyone is convinced it's some kind of spirit, but I'm not sure. Too frightened to check what might be down there. Going to the well. 
Yep, we're going to the well. I'm gonna just teleport to you. Well, well, well. Oh, trapped. Oh, cool. I've been stuck down here for three years, and I fell down here during the Festival of the Jackal, and no one even noticed. They kept throwing down offerings down here for good luck. It's the only reason I've survived. They think the town is haunted and insist on believing that my voice is the sound of a trapped spirit. Some people, hmm. Well, at least I've got food and water, I guess. I don't even know why I'm writing this note. No one's ever gonna find it. He dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's, uh, he dead. Yeah, I'm stuck here. I can't move. I'm crouched, dumbass. I can't! It's not letting me! I'm, like, stuck under this slab, I think. <laughs> okay, on my screen you're not, so you just look like you're just being a little bitch. No. That's something loading in. Oh, that's a big place! That looks cool! I don't see anything yet. That looks awesome! Oh, it's, oh, it's starting to load in. It looks like a massive PP. Okay, now it looks cool. Oh, there's a giant skull at the front. This is a massive... I just re I oh thought that was god. I thought that was just a tower. No, this is an entire pyramid. Yeah, I is it Oh, a look at the map. And it's like I only have like a ch tiny portion of it loaded in. Yeah, is it I think it's a desert temple. All right, Iko, 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 Iko. Come over here. You be a good boy. You 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 stay right there next to the giant skull, okay? Yeah, yep, this is an temple. entire desert temple. What the fuck? This place is huge! Oh, there's spawners. I'm getting to it. Alright, I'll go to the right side. There's nothing in that. And there's three diamonds. Oh, I just kicked a skeleton across the map. Uh, so... Don't fall on a pressure plate, Finn. Did my items well, trigger it? Yes, it did! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking shot. He put wooden pressure plates. Oh, your stuff is totally gone! <laughs> no fucking shot. He put wooden <laughs> pressure plates. There's wooden pressure plates! <laughs> Dude. Dude. Oh, I told you! Dude! <laughs> Everything is gone! I'm fucking poor now. I literally was just bragging about how rich I am. And then this game just like, stay humble, bitch. Stay humble. Dude, oh no, I have hiccups. All my. I. I was hoarding like five lore books, like ten enchantment books. I had like three stacks of diamonds. You know, it's a good thing you didn't bring. My god yeah, leggings. My sword of Anza is now gone. <laughs> oh boy. I lost literally everything. What the fuck? <laughs> Team is dog shit. I'm done. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the stupidest shit ever. Yeah, I, I, I'm i sure you could tell my silence when I saw you died. I was just waiting. I wish I could have at least seen the explosion. I stayed on the death screen, but no explosion actually happened. Well, trust me, I got a perfect view, so... You know what? Get at least out. I'll appreciate it in your video. You better edit this shit. <laughs> yeah. Good Bro, Lord. even if I don't edit it all right away, I'll do, I'll do what I did with RL Craft and post the clip, because it's hilarious. <sighs> ben, what are you doing? This is what I say to you, map maker pieces of shit. But it's such a cool temple. This map is garbage. Bro, he looks like William Afton. <laughs> he does look like William Afton. <laughs> he does look like William Afton. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Destroyed, destroyed village? That's what I thought at first. It also doesn't look like that. I mean, I guess... Kind I don't of know. Be. 
It's some ruins. Maybe it's not a village, but it's something. Yeah. Lore book somewhere. I'm looking for lore book. I found a lore book. Okay, great. Letter from Y. Asim or A. Uh, Asim, Asim. However, you choose to say this pretty name. Sure, pretty sure I, uh, I pronounced it Asim before, and I'm pretty sure that's okay. You would pronounce Asim. It. I hope you waited until you research or until you reached home to open this. Uh, open this. God dang it! Stupid hiccups. I knew you wouldn't accept it unless I made you wait. I just hope you can use this if your family ends up in danger. What you told me about the Pharaoh and his cruelty, his cruelty was horrific. If your family needs to flee or protect themselves, or perhaps if they need to bargain, this may help. I hate that you've been all suffering at the hand at the hands of the Pharaoh. Someday soon, I will come up with a better solution. I feel like I have some part to play in all of this. I promise things will be different one day. <clears throat> I'm going to speak with my father. I hope we can help to liberate the sandstone village from the Pharaoh's grasp before it's too late. Anyway, I'll see you back in the mines tomorrow. You've still got to catch up to me slow. Slowpoke, I've got emeralds coming out of my ears. Yarima. Okay, I found another lore book. Neath's Diary. I'm scared, terrified. The pharaoh has gone mad. His cruelty knows no bounds. Asim was selected in the tr tributes. Wait, was selected in the tribute selection, and pharaoh has been suspicious ever since. Asim is one of the kindest, well-known members of our little community, and we are all growing tired of these annual sacrifices. There have been whispers of a revolution. The Pharaoh's guards have been on high alert and the Pharaoh's threatening drastic measures. We've been hearing ominous noises from the temple and we have no idea what's going to happen next. We can only hope that we will be saved before it's too late. Gotcha. So I'm going to assume this was a, vi a village. Yeah. Looked like I was at one point. That's a shipwreck. Oh, you're right. It's loading in. I see it. Oh my god, Wee. so fat. There you go. Me every day. <laughs> well, this is lame. Yeah, the shipwreck looks cool, but got nothing in it. Or at least like a lore book or something. Well, hey, there's a lore book. Oh, really? Yeah. In the one chest we didn't look. It's called Clue Number One. Ooh. Ahoy, adventurer! You found the first clue to the fabled pirate's treasure hunt, said to lead to the lost treasures of the evil pharaoh. Oh, great. If you don't fancy hearing about our story, head to the end of the book for a clue. Savvy, but beware to find the booty. It's advised you take a gander at the companion series on the, on the YouTube channel. Without it, you struggle to solve the riddles and won't know all the lore. Before the pirates were taken by the oceans, they were heading to the island on this on this very ship in search of a long lost treasure. The first clue had been used by the dark forest merchants with the in a trade off with the pirates, an offer no pirate could refuse. On their journey to the main islands, they passed the mushroom swamp inhabited by the infamous witch Coven. Or Coven. The witches struck down the ship and the pirates were lost to the oceans, said to have found sanctuary in the deep. Guided by the enchanted heart of the sea, the shipwreck was washed up on the shore, along with the first clue to the whereabouts of the evil pharaoh's lost treasure, waiting to be found by a worthy adventurer. Clue number one. Head to the temple where the treasure once belonged. Stick to the sand and you won't go too far wrong. Pillars aplenty inside is what you'll see, but all you must do is turn left and count three. Underneath the column, you'll find what you seek, but if you need another hint, here's the point. Negative 1451, 79, 834. Oh, well, what do you know? There's a chest right there. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Great! <laughs> oh. Here. Uh, Thank you. That, that's yours. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're off. Look up. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Anyways, don't mind me. Bruh. Clue number two. Oh, oh cool. Oh, uh, wait, was there anything else there? No, I didn't. Okay. You found clue number two. You're one step closer to finding the lost treasure of the evil pharaoh. 
you'd like to skip the lore, head to the last page for the next video. Years ago, the Grand Desert Temple was built for the evil pharaoh to contain his vast collections of treasure, which we all exploded into nothingness. Because this game is stupid. Uh, <laughs> the pharaoh's greed grew so much that he summoned a demon from the nether known as the Wither, which laid waste to the sandstone village and eventually turned on... Turned on what? Known as Boss and Finn when you blow up his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> True. Turned on the pharaoh as treasure was left behind, untouched for many years, until eventually it caught the interest of thieves and pillagers. To protect the ultimate survival world from treachery, the wizard and the protector we met the wizard, and the protector moved the treasure, hiding to the end of a tricky treasure hunt, testing the wits and bravery of any seeker. It is said that only a worthy adventurer can find all the clues to seek out the fabled treasure. Number two. For a creature grand and Look for a creature grand in stature, sat behind a labyrinth where souls are captured. Deep in the jungle, far away from home, search for jaguars made of stone. Once you reach the one on the left, beneath its right paw, you will find the next chest. Underneath, you will find what you seek, but if you need another hand, here's the word. Okay, well. But I found something else, and I found a green bird. I uh, also found something else. It's a pillar to tower. Wait. Finn, you're right next to me! No shot, bro. Who are you? Hear that pillager just die? No. What about that one? Oh, I see your name tag. Well, that's ironic. Yeah? Leave it to us to teleport to around the same place. Yo, the there's place. a Gohorn! Ow. Oh, I thought you hit me with a potion well, of harming. <laughs> no, I didn't. If you heard three potions of harming falling you, I think you'd be dead. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, You're probably. Dead? Were you okay? I make fallen. Gotcha. Danielle's diary. Or no, it's Daniel's. Our village has been overrun with a vicious plague. We are the only villagers who have survived. We sought sanctuary in the Darkwood Village, but we were shunned and turned away. To survive, we must now hunt and pillage despite all our misfortunes and mistreatment. We are painted as the wrongdoers. We will no longer live in the shadows. We shall carve out our own territory right here on the jungle border. Our old home in the dark forest remains inhabited by a horde of vicious zombies. You can only pray that a brave adventurer will rid the ultimate survival world of these creatures and restore the village to its former glory. I just forgot shit. <laughs> Clear here, I'm sorry. Do you see me pulling the crossbow back? No, I thought I heard you typing like no. slash. <laughs> this is slash not. I was pulling back my crossbow. Gotcha. Oh, this connects with... Oh, okay. Gotcha. There you go. Alright, so let me teleport somewhere else now. Uh, I guess here. I'm going here. I'm freaking weather clearing. I literally... It's so dark, I can't see anything. That's a big yeah. gaping asshole. What? <laughs> Uh, you heard me. There's a big gape in the butthole. Yeah. Do I get more context or? No, that's all the context I need. Okay. There's a mountain and it has a giant anus. <laughs> 
Great. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh. Um, so this is the Shrew Jungle Temple. <laughs> this thing is massive. Uh w Holy crap. Okay. Dude, this is like the biggest structure we've ever found. Yeah. Oh my yeah, this is god. Big. Stairs are just as annoying, though. <laughs> of course. You know what? Tell me when you're at the top. <laughs> I'm at the top. Okay. No one oh. wants to deal with that. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see. Oh! Letter from A! Oh! Dude. Oh! Wait, what? 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 Notice something different? What do you mean? <laughs> something more nether-like? You're holding an iron sword. No! Look at my helmet. I can't see your armor, dumbass. You're the one who gave us this mod. <laughs> okay, uh, here, just... There. Now I can see it. <laughs> you see it now? Yes. Do you see what it is? Netherite. Yes. <laughs> that was such a boring reaction. Well, it's because the freaking mod ruined it. I couldn't see it. You were like, see my helmet, see my helmet, see my helmet. I'm like, no, I can't because of the mod. Yeah, I don't have that on right now. I always... I don't really know how to turn it off, so... Well, I didn't turn it off myself. It just kind of was off. Also, just... When you go down the stairs, be sure... Yeah, to... um... I see. I see. Yeah. Jesus. Why did it just end? What the frick? That scared me. I thought I wasn't gonna land. Surely I can land in the water. Actually, there's water what if there? Here. What if there's a wooden pressure plate down there? There's water here. It's fine. Fuck me. Absolutely fuck me. Hard. So it's fine, huh? <laughs> Dude, I like. I landed on like the very Ow, just you edge. stupid skeleton! The very you freaking... stupid skeleton! Oh my god, guys. Go away! Stupid spider! Go away. Go away. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Brad here, you didn't pick up. Hey, I lost my stuff, so I just assume it fell down here. Well, there's only one way to find out. Really? Again? <laughs> Again? The very fucking... <laughs> kind of blow up this entire temple. Don't do that. We haven't looked through it all yet. I'm tired of this shitty-ass game. Shitty-ass map. Ow! 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 Ah! I picked up your stupid boots! Ow! You are just not having any luck today. I never have any luck. Oh! 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 Wow, Lord looks so cool. I'll read it. Darn has the power of Kamala Harris Mountains, Kama Mountains, and to strengthen the city's spiritual connection to it, the tribe built this magnificent temple full of bullshit and cum sack. It was okay. used in many of their rituals and ceremonies, including the pilgrimage to the elemental totems, which can be found around the, the city. 
This temple contains several sacred ancestral statues representing tribes previous leaders and includes the Jungle King's tomb, allowing them all to rest together eternally bonded to the heart of the city to which they contributed. It is said that the disturbances of these sacred statues would lead to a devastating spate of bad luck and the disturber for the disturber. And that is precisely what happened when the Darkwood merchants stole one of the ancestral statues. Full story on shitty ass YouTube channel. Great. Shari's journal. Dear journal, I heard rumors that Princess Yurima is going to search for the lost tribes of the jungle. The fern tribe and the leaf tribe. I hope she finds them and makes it back safe. Everyone knows that the jungle is not safe, especially when you venture further from the safety of the common mountains. A horde of giant spiders is said to have grown stronger over the years. I dread to think what Yurima may come across. Full story on the YouTube channel. Of course. This wasn't even that bad compared to earlier. It's because of earlier. Fair enough. This just rubs salt in the wound because I keep just losing items over and over and over when I'm just dying. Like, I don't know why I keep just losing items even though like nothing has, hypothetically nothing should have happened to the items. They just keep disappearing. Whereas you got blown up by three creepers and lost nothing. I just fell off into like near water, barely missed, and somehow half my items are gone. Fucking all that for it. 